What's up, Friday's family, family? Welcome, welcome back, back to, to a brand, brand new video. video. So, we're at the Trafford Centre. We haven't been here for a while. We haven't been here in so long. I know, it feels so weird to be back. I get like weird memories when we're back here. Yeah, guys, if you've been following us for a while, you know we spent so much time here when we used to live in our apartment. I know, <laughs> so, yeah. it feels so weird when we come back. But we're back today to go to Selfridges because I don't know if you guys have seen, but all over TikTok, there's this viral like slimming bodysuit from a brand called Skims, I think it is. I wanted to get it and try it to see if it actually like shapes your body. I don't really like it's not like needed for anyone obviously but I'm just gonna try it and see what happens see if it works but when we're back home I'm then gonna get Harry to like guess if I'm wearing it under different clothes or not okay so see I if it actually works so I have to guess what clothes you have it under yeah to see if you actually can tell a difference okay I like that yeah I, I think I'm gonna be able to tell I think you will as well because like it, it does make your body a lot more like curvy but Ooh. I guess we'll have to just go and see if it works I wonder if you'll be able to tell if it's on my body <laughs> you should <laughs> I don't I've got this color in like a small medium. I don't really know what size to get but I don't know. Just like but you just pulled it out and it looked tiny. It looked very small but I think this is the size. To okay. Get. So I'm gonna get this. Okay, one. let's get this one. So you got what you wanted. I got what I wanted. How much was it though? It was 74 pounds. 74 pounds. Show me it. It was tiny as well. I thought it was going to be like £15. No, it's very expensive brand. Women's clothes are expensive. I know. What? Let's hope it's worth it. I know. <laughs> okay guys, so me and Rosie have a bit of an obsession with taking these ginger shots recently and you struggle. Every time I struggle, but I haven't had a ginger shot since I've done my Chinese herbal medicine and I feel like because that tastes like the worst tasting thing I've ever tasted in my whole so life. So true. I feel like this is going to be a lot easier now. Yeah, I feel like you're going to not struggle. Okay, yeah. right. So let's give it a go because I'm normally fine with it. But these bottles are so cute. They're actually like like a little glass bottle. But you need to shot it the whole thing. You can't just I like... can't do that though. I've got a really small mouth. <laughs> Ready? That is quite spicy actually. Oh, baby. <laughs> what do you, you do this every time. Did you finish it? It's burning, right? <laughs> Is it burning you? I feel like I can't breathe. That's like the one Maybe. of the that's one of the strongest ones I've ever had. I feel like I can't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're overreacting so much. <laughs> Guys, get this one if you want to take a ginger shot <gasps> because I have never had one that crazy. How are you feeling? That's so strong. That's <laughs> <laughs> I have to admit, that is probably the spiciest one I've ever had. Oh my god. So it's the next day now because we got home yesterday from the shopping centre, we had food and then I just got into bed. So <laughs> I didn't film this yesterday. But I've unboxed the Skims body shaping bodysuit or whatever it's called. It's so small. It doesn't look like I'll be able to fit into that. It's stretchy but like also quite hard to stretch. It actually looks like it will fit like a two-year-old so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna show you guys what my dress looks like on first without this then i'm gonna show you what it looks like with this so you guys can see the difference and then i'm gonna go downstairs in the same dress and show harry with it and without it and he has to guess which one is me wearing this okay so this is my figure completely like relaxed and natural so that's without and now i'm gonna put it with okay and now this is with the slimming suit i'm just gonna call it that because i don't really know what to call it i don't know if you can tell but like i feel like it makes my like hips a bit more like defined i think it sucks me a little bit more I'm not too sure really like for some reason it's made my bum stick out a lot more i'm gonna go downstairs now and show harry wearing this then show him without and he's gonna have to see if like the first one's me with it or without it so let's go do that okay you have to guess well you're not gonna guess now you just have to look at me and what you think okay you've got such a good so, figure though it's hard, it's hard. but it's like, like subtle changes see if you can notice anything different the or looks not huge <laughs> so think. I, yeah it looks so big what the hell and then okay so obviously like bear this in mind that. no and then i'm gonna like change and do whatever and then you have to like compare okay. the two okay go okay? get changed all right i'll be back okay round two okay the comparison you look the same do you think yeah what this is actually harder than i thought it was gonna be do you think yeah because i thought it was gonna like really really like make you look different but you look the same do you think i think there's like subtle differences i guess it's a compliment because you look i good. guess so i'm gonna say the first one was the first one was what? You had it on. Yeah. Did you? I did, yeah. But there's only like the subtle this difference. It's subtle, but like there's enough that you can notice differences. That's crazy. I definitely think there's a difference. Mostly on my bum. Yeah. Did yeah, you notice you how big down, my bum looked? When you came down at the start, I was like, why does your bum look it so It looked big? like it really like, like it, it looks, cut it off in it like places. It now, but like it looked like it went like that and just like, whoa. I know, like <laughs> almost like not even in a good way. Like, 
No, it looked good. Do you think? Yeah, it looked good. I don't know, because yeah. I'm not used to seeing it like that. Should I go and put it on now? <laughs> you were definitely not <laughs> Should I fucking it? <laughs> no way. Okay, guys, I want to talk to you all about something super quick today that I personally feel super passionate about, and I feel like it just isn't spoken about enough. So there's one thing I've always done in life, and that is always take care of my skin. I've always washed my face. I've always used products on my face. Because when you do them things, you feel better. So I want to normalize or help normalize men being able to use products and just feel better about themselves without feeling judged. So being a guy myself, I know how hard it can be to make yourself feel good. Because let's be honest, we've got hair, we've got beard, we've got teeth, and that's pretty much all we can do to make ourselves feel good. And I know how guys think, because I used to be one of these guys, as soon as I heard male products or male makeup, I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's for girls. About five years ago, when I started experimenting with a lot of products on my face, I started to feel so much better, and I thought to myself, this isn't just for girls. It's not just for women, it's not just for girls. Guys can do this too. And let me tell you why you guys out there shouldn't be worried about any male products or any female products or just makeup in general. Because some of your guys' favorite celebrities, I'm talking about The Rock, Chris Hemsworth, Vin Diesel, they all wear makeup. And yeah, maybe they're artists, maybe they're TV hosts, maybe they're film stars. It doesn't mean they're the only ones that can wear makeup. And I'm pretty sure if The Rock came up to you and said, I wear makeup, you wouldn't be like, <laughs> you wear makeup. You'd be like, oh right, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, me, me too. Yeah, no, I know, I wear makeup all the time, yeah. And that's why I want to talk to you guys today about a company called Strict, who I've been using for months and months for all my products. And I want to show you guys how I use them. Those are the products I use on my face every single day. If you guys do want to try them out, use our discount code right here to get 15% off all of the products. And let's get back to the video. I don't want to see that suitcase there, Bob. <laughs> I don't want you to go. I won't be gone for long. It is long though. Four nights. That's not that long. Five nights, isn't it? Four nights. Not Four five night. nights. Four okay. Five but days though. It does feel long. It does feel spend, so long. We spend every day together, that's why. You're leaving me. I'm leaving you and the RH family. Oh, I'm going to miss you both. It's what so sad because the thing is, me and Harry have like spent every single day together for the past I know. two years. I feel like that's why this kind of stuff sucks because it's like, if we didn't spend that much time together, we'd be, we'd be used to it. Yeah, well the thing is, we did used to do long distance anyway. So like- But that was like three years ago. Four? Yeah, four like, years four, ago. Four years ago That's now. like flown by. So I like, know, so now, now we're used to like being in each other's company 24 seven. When, when one of us isn't here, it just feels so weird. It does feel weird. It feels like so a, a missing part of me. It sounds, it no. sounds cringy, but it's like so true because like, if you guys out there, you have a girlfriend or a boyfriend, you spend every day with them, it's weird going away. But it's away. so strange. It's so strange. So yeah. strange, just especially because like we're literally like so obsessed with each other. <laughs> what if I just don't come out for like two weeks? Don't ever say, even <laughs> say that. Guys, I don't want you to think that I'm like not independent because I like kind of enjoy my own company, but I am one of them types of people that doesn't enjoy my own company. I never used to be either, and then I got like better at it. It's because you actually live by yourself. I've I never know. ever lived by myself, so like, I don't Come like in. being by myself, but it's time to say goodbye to the pups. That's so soon, okay? They're not gonna miss me. They're yeah, they will. Me. They'll if be you, so excited you when you go come away, back. They're like, oh, really? I want mum to be back. As soon as I go, they're like, <laughs> See you later. Bye, Dad. Guys, like, we're gonna be moving to Australia so soon. Yeah. Like, sooner than we think. I think in like two years. And yeah. I feel like going to see my friends now, like, I appreciate it so much more. Yeah, because I know you have to say, day, like, goodbye to them one day. Yeah, and I just like that, like, it's so sad. I know. Because, like, two years ago has flown by. Like, I know. It's, it's been so quick. So, to think that in another two years, we might be in Australia. It's I'm crazy. Like, I need to make the most of it. My I know, you do need to make the most but of it. But then I miss you. I'm gonna, and miss, I'm gonna miss you, you guys. <laughs> Bye, Bubs. Love you. By myself now, our H family. It feels like we're going back to when we first met, when we did long distance and stuff, and it just seems so strange. But like, obviously, it's nice to have some time apart as well because it's really nice to have that feeling of like missing each other again. And then when I see him in a few days' time, it's just going to be like so nice to see each other and stuff because we obviously spend twenty four seven together. It's like 
nice to have that missing feeling again. You guys are like my only company now and the girls. I think the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give the girls like a pamper. They haven't had a wash in like about six weeks I think and it's been like a little bit muddy so they're gonna have a wash, they're gonna have their nails cut, they're gonna have a blow dry, everything to keep me not being bored and like sad by myself. I'm gonna do Daisy first. She actually knows where she's going, bless her. Are you trying to pick what stuff you want? I've got a basket here for you. Got some treats. Smile for me. Smile. Oh, you really don't look happy, do you, baby girl? I need to dry you with the hair dryer now, baby. How do you feel about that? You don't like that idea, do you? You want to just roll around on here. Daisy's done. I didn't film drying her just because it's like too much to multitask doing. <laughs> It's so hard to get her to just like stay still and dry her and everything but now it's Poppy's turn to have a wash and I'm not gonna film that just because it's like already taken me like one and a half hours to do Daisy stuff. The girls are gonna be super clean after this. I'll show you like a final shot of what they both look like after their bath. Oh my goodness girls. Are you both really that tired after having a bath? Look at how fluffy you are now, huh? Why is your lip like that? <laughs> smoothies because they're supposed to be like a really healthy thing but I've never liked adding a healthy like a base liquid to my smoothie just now obviously I added orange juice to my smoothie and now this tastes like pretty much just like orange like thick orange juice I see people use coconut milk coconut water I feel like if I add a milk to my to my smoothie it makes it more like a milkshake and then if I add coconut water it makes me want to be sick because I absolutely hate coconut water but I don't hate family it's the next Next morning now. Obviously this morning I've done some sprucing around, done some cleaning. I'm gonna do some more cleaning. It will take a bit more time. I'm gonna sort out some of the cupboards like under the sink with all our cleaning products. I'm gonna sort out our utility room, which is where all the dog stuff's kept. So I need to kind of do like a whole clean of that and organize all the cupboards. That will probably take me most of the day to be fair, because we like usually do one cleaning day every single week and it takes pretty much like a whole day to clean the whole house. So that will be pretty much my whole day like done today. Oh yeah, quite a big update for you guys. I know briefly Harry mentioned something about Australia before he left and said goodbye to me yesterday. Yeah, we're kind of doing a bit more planning into like our whole Australia move for the future. Like I'd say it's near future now. Like I'm guessing we're probably gonna move there in the next two years, potentially. It kind of like, we could just move like tomorrow or whatever, but we obviously we have to get Harry's visa sorted. That's like the main part of like everything that takes a while. Because like I'm still an Australian citizen and I've still got an Australian passport and everything, it means that I can basically sponsor Harry as like a spouse visa, so like a partner visa, which is super good and super exciting for us because it makes the process A, a lot cheaper because it's so freaking expensive to get a visa for Australia. I think the one that we're trying to do is, I think it's around about 5,000 pounds, which is so expensive just for a visa compared to some other countries. So that's pretty crazy. So obviously we need to get that visa and then it can take up to a year and a half for it to fully process. So that's really, really exciting. It makes me feel so motivated every day knowing that that's like our goal for the next couple of years. And obviously with my family being out there now as well, it's just so amazing because we can go there and like not even be like alone, if that makes sense. They've actually lived in Australia for a year now which is crazy. It only feels like the other day we made a video, I think we called it um, We Have Bad News, and we were sat in our apartment and I told you guys that my family were moving to Australia. That was over, like just over a year ago. That's actually flown by, it's actually so crazy. Yeah, so a lot of exciting things happening to do with Australia and I guess I'm just gonna sort that out, do some cleaning today and just like 
chill out a bit and chat with you guys like I am now. So yeah, that is the plan for my day. As much as I absolutely hate being by myself and I really have never enjoyed my own company, I feel like the last couple days just being by myself and forced to enjoy my own company is actually like been so helpful for me because like I feel like I never actually get time to just sit <laughs> sit by myself. <laughs> I never have time to just sit by myself. Even now, I don't have time to sit by myself. How did you just launch yourself up like that, huh? She full on just launched herself from the floor onto my lap on that chair. You are crazy. <laughs> She's got the zoomies, I need to take her out on a walk. But I was just saying, I just wanted to like sit and chat real quick and be like, oh my God. I'm trying to chat to the RH family. But yeah, obviously it's given me a lot of time to kind of reflect on the most important things that I don't usually have time to really, really sit and think about. And like, when it comes to my skin, like this whole weekend, I've kind of had a massive realization where, with like my Chinese medicine and how my body's been reacting to it. And I've really been able to sit in my thoughts and like my own like health of my body and realize a lot of like big things to do with the future and to do with my health and what like the future holds for trying to cure my skin condition and like as much as it's really hard for me to kind of like admit that this weekend ha and being away from Harry has been so helpful for that so obviously I'm going to keep you guys updated on like my decisions and what my next like stages of treatment are and stuff but like for now briefly the Chinese medicine isn't working the way that it should be uh, my doctors told me that I am one of the unfortunate people that it's not um, it's not worked for, basically. And trust me, I've had my breakdown already about this because this was basically my last final thing to figure out how I could cure my skin condition. But that's just like a brief summary. And obviously, I've had so much time. Now, Poppy's having a wee on the floor. I thought you were toilet trained. I've been working so hard to toilet train you. That is annoying and that is about to go underneath our bed. I literally have to just clean that way up because it was going right underneath our bed. But I'm gonna end this video here. Harry gets back tomorrow night. So I'm nearly, nearly done with the time away from him and I'm so excited for him to come back. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and that you've enjoyed a little bit of our vlogging and a bit of me vlogging by myself to see what I get up to while I'm by myself. And I guess we'll see you in another video. Peace.